Let's take a moment to focus on a part of the paper that's crucial yet often considered tedious to write, the method section. If you've ever found yourself dragging your feet when it comes to writing up your research methodology, you're not alone. But with ChatGPT, this task can become a whole lot easier. Writing a method section usually involves describing your experiment, data source, patient population, if applicable, data structure, ethics committee approvals, data analyses, reagents used, and so on. While it's crucial that your paper includes all the necessary details, writing them up can feel like a chore. Here's a simple trick. Start by brainstorming and jot down all these details in bullet point format. You don't have to worry about polishing the language or structuring it neatly at this stage. Just get all the information down, similar to a free writing session. For instance, your initial draft could look something like this. Experiment conducted in Lab X, data sourced from Hospital Y, patient population age 50 to 70, both males and females, non-smokers, data organized using software C, ethics committee approval obtained from University A, data analyzed using method B, reagents used, now with these bullet points as your starting point, you can ask ChatGPT to flash them out in a coherent method section. Just input your bullet points into ChatGPT and ask it to write a method section based on these bullet points according to the structure typically used by and enter the name of the journal. By doing this, you'll have a well-structured method section in no time with significantly less effort than doing it manually. Now I'll show you an example of this action. If you'd like to read the entire prompt or the text that ChatGPT generates, please pause the video as needed. Here's the prompt and the output from ChatGPT. Of course, once you have this draft, you need to review and refine it, tailoring it to your research and personal style. Remember, ChatGPT is a tool to assist you, and it's important to put your touch on the final output. This approach makes the process of writing a method section a breeze saving you time and energy and ensuring you have a comprehensible and complete description of your methodology. All right, with our methods nicely detailed, let's now move on to handling the counter arguments in your writing. Counter arguments are typically incorporated into the discussion part of your paper. Incorporating counter arguments in your writing adds depth to your work and invites your reader into a thoughtful discourse. It shows that you've not only thoroughly researched your topic, but also considered differing viewpoints. However, when we're invested in developing an argument, it's often challenging to conceive strong counterarguments. That's where ChatGPT steps in. With ChatGPT, you can input your claim or argument and use that to generate counterarguments. Use the prompt, please give me a counterargument for this claim. Let's put it to the test. Here's a claim from our example paper. Statin use was associated with reduced mortality rates in a large cohort of kidney transplant recipients. Now that our prompt and claim is in ChatGPT, let's see what counterarguments ChatGPT can provide us. Remember, these counterarguments are not just rebuttals to refute. Instead, Think of them as opportunities to further bolster your main argument to illuminate different facets of the topic at hand. But remember to use your own critical thinking in using these counterarguments. After all, ChatGPT is your research assistant, not your supervisor. Having covered counterarguments, we're now approaching the final stretch of our academic writing journey with ChatGPT. We now need to round off our work with a compelling conclusion. Writing a conclusion that effectively summarizes your work and leaves a lasting impact on the reader can indeed be challenging. But with ChatGPT, this task becomes significantly more manageable. Similarly to how we crafted our introduction, you should start by writing a draft of your conclusion. Once you have this, run it through ChatGPT with the following prompt. Please rewrite this paragraph as a conclusion you should ask for three variations to have a wide range of choices. Let's do a quick demo. 
Here's an example of a draft conclusion for a fictional paper with lots of typos that will put ChatGPT to the test. Pause the video if you'd like to read it in full. Now let's engage ChatGPT and see how it can help us shape a more effective conclusion. And voila. Remember that you can ask ChatGPT for more than one version of your conclusion and select the one that best fits your work and personal style. Also, the conclusion is a great place to incorporate the counterarguments we discussed earlier. By addressing them in your conclusion, you not only provide a well-rounded viewpoint, but also strengthen your main argument. Now let's add one more technique into the mix. Perhaps there's a conclusion from a paper that you've read and really admired. You loved how it was structured, how it summarized the main points, or how it left a lasting impact. With ChatGPT, you can use that conclusion as an example for your own work. Simply give ChatGPT the conclusion you like, along with your own work's main points or arguments. Then ask it to write a similarly structured conclusion for you. Remember to specify that you're looking for a conclusion structured similarly to the example you provided. This is an incredibly powerful technique to learn from work you admire and apply that same brilliance to your own writing, while still retaining your unique voice and perspective. As always, tailor the final output to your style and the specific requirements of your paper.